used to this hair color yet. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're not familiar with me or my channel, my name is Dan and welcome. This week I want to try something new. For example, I wanted to make like new series in the DIY of like known people or famous people online or like in any platform, YouTube, Instagram or stuff and try to create the home decor. I really think it's gonna be like cool challenge to try. Um, and I didn't saw online, so I'll find the first one. I think Zoe's had very sophisticated taste in home department or like home design and I think she's great inspiration for the first video of this series and I really like her taste, it's between like mid-century mixed up with modern, if you know what I mean. So anyway, this week I'll try to make Zoe's home decor, so let's get started, shall we? For making the mug, you will need glue gun and copper spray paint. Turn the cup upside down and add dots of glue and let it drop down. After it's completely dry, paint it with spray paint. For the helmet coasters I used air dry clay. Flat the clay until you get down to 1.5 cm. Use your fingers and poke the clay, you will find it very satisfying, I promise you. <laughs> By the way, I also used the hanger that you see for more small fine details to get the hammered effect. I used pancake mold to get the perfect circle. Let the clay dry for 24 hours and then dye it with copper spray. Wait 30 minutes between every side. For this stone planter you will need stone finish spray and glass and white acrylic paint. Um, first I paint with grey and then I used spray right away and I found out that the spray don't give you full coverage. Paint two layers of acrylic while letting every single layer to dry properly. Then spray the glass with the stone effect to get the rough texture. Now moving on to the marble frame, personally I think it came out amazing, I used frame from the dollar store and dyed it white and then comes the tricky part. Try to make blue vines with grey color and then use white to blow them out. Repeat the process and then dye with smaller brush, smaller vines and grey lines. At the end I added darker grey from more depth and realistic feeling. It pretty sucks at describing the right method. That's why I show you the full process in fast motion. Now, the final DIY is the hanging mirror. So I have a huge brown mirror at the dining room, but I couldn't find a mirror that size. 
I also changed the mirror stripes into a foil black leather. Cut stripes of leather to cover the outer mirror frame and smaller stripes from clear slice. That will give the leather stripes more strength. After you gave it a few hours to dry, cut triangles to the end of the leather. It should look like so. Then at the end of the slide, at the beginning of the triangle, use glue and circle the mirror all around. You will need to hold the shape for a few minutes and then feel free to leave it to dry on the side for a few hours again. Cut the extra piece at the end and glue it all together. Now you can see it's a bit tricky but use glue and try to keep all the triangles in the back of the mirror. After you succeeded, the hardest part added straps at the top to hang the mirror you just made. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, give a big thumbs up so I will know to continuing this small series. And subscribe to my channel down below if you're not a regular subscriber already. And I will see you next week. Thank you so much for watching. It meant a lot to me. I have no idea. Like, I hope you will have a wonderful week. And I will see you next week. Bye bye.